What's up guys, welcome back to another Man vs. Deer video. In today's video, we're going after some crappie. It's raining, but we don't care. Let's get them. This is probably one of my bigger bucks to date. Guys, I cannot believe that that actually worked. It's like a double long shot. It was hot, it was really hot. A little bit after six and me and Cody are getting ready to go fishing. They're running a little bit of water down here, so um, anytime they're running water, that's good. It gets these fish like active and feeding. We're hoping to catch some crappie. Uh, brought some other poles just in case uh, we can't get on those. We can get on some other fish maybe, but uh, it isn't real busy down here. I wouldn't say we got the place to ourselves, but it shouldn't be shoulder to shoulder like it sometimes is. Ought to be a pretty good morning. Oh, he's got one already. Ooh. Skipjack, or is it a carp? Ooh. Carp, okay. Yeah, carp. Put him on the stringer. You want it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I don't want Bill. Either carp or a girl. Big ol' bass. It is. Big ol' bass. Yeah, I smacked him. Old green belly. Oh shit. A little large now. He's at least three or four pounds, dude. Yeah, he's a good one. Right, the top fear. Yeah. Oh, shoot, you can't you can't keep that from Memorial Day, can you? I don't know. Yeah. I'll turn him back anyway. Yeah, I think he's that may be closer to five pounds, Cody. That's a good shape, huh? Yeah, he is. Not bad. No, that's a good fish. Very good crappie. That Very is. Crappie. It's a nice one. Don't come off there now. Finally caught a crappie nice. of my own. Cody's stomping on me over here. Yeah, I caught a little one down there. So the big that's right. You got them all out of the way. That's a nice one. First crop of the day. Oh no! <laughs> he would have ate too. That would have been the second fish. Starting to get him figured out. About five seconds seems to be the, uh, with a really slow retrieval. Oh yeah. That one will eat. Pretty decent fish. What is he? Nine inches, nine and a half. Slowly but steady, chipping away at him. That damn siren just went off, which means they're fixing to start running some water. That ought to turn the fishing on every time they 
start running more water than what they are really makes these fish go crazy. So we're probably in for some better fishing and it hasn't been bad so far, but it's probably about to get a lot better. Maybe you'll bring some of them bigger crappie up here. He was right off the bank. Th that one I foul hooked was right there too. And then there was another little one before that. Maybe they moved in a little closer. Started to rain on us a little bit and the fishing dried up on us where we were. We were over there off that little point. So we've moved around here. They started running that water and it's kind of doing something like this. And so we're gonna see if right out here in front isn't just a little bit better. Another one, the, the rain's kind of pushing them a little bit deeper, the water running one. We're starting to get into them again. What's that? Oh, go ahead. They hit this one on the way down while it was sinking. Oh, little catfish. Little blue. Hey, this thing has caught more crappie than you've lied about. Oh yeah, feels like a crappie. Yeah, nice one. Big fat one. These fish are kind of scattered. So what we're doing is we're just trying different depths and different spots and we're kind of catching them all along this little shoreline here. But there's not one specific hole we're pulling them out of. It's just kind of everywhere. But they do seem to be deep, letting it sink for about 10, 15 seconds and then slowly reeling it in. And it isn't like lights out fishing, but it's, it's steady for sure. We're definitely catching fish and catching some good ones, so. The wrong kind of double, followed by the right kind of double. Yeah, that ain't no kidding. We both snagged up and then we both next cast caught fish. Oh yeah. A little bit of a dry spill. Man, I took that one. Man, I hooked into some monster fish down there right below that dam. I even had one that broke me off and the one that bent the hook, but I didn't get any of them caught. Um, ended up with 12 crappie so far. Cody's got like 40. No, but he does have a lot. He definitely outfished me. But we got some good ones on here. Definitely enough to fry up and make a good dinner. That's for sure. I am wet, buddy. It's wet. <laughs> I am soaked to the bone. Cody had like a, he was smart enough to bring a, uh, rain jacket. I was not. Didn't do a lot for him, but no. <laughs> he definitely. He, uh, we got wet. What's the plan? So the other guy try to try to finish finish off. Yeah, we can see if they're biting over there. If we're not, if they're not, we'll uh, call it. But may as well see. We're back to try to finish some of our limits. We got some food in us and dried off in the truck a little bit. We's fishing on that side. Now we came around and we're gonna try this side. 
and hopefully we'll be able to put just a few more fish on the stringer. Oh, uh, don't spool me. He's a monster. He better not spool me. <laughs> this is good line and it's new. Go in after him, Cody. I'll just die, dude. Oh boy. Stop it. Better be a friggin' hybrid. It's not, uh, well, he's running off the bus to be a carp. I can't get a freaking. Telling me, as long as he doesn't keep going out and I can get line on him, I'm all right with it. Oh, he got off. Well guys, that's gonna do it for us today. I think Cody caught his limit. I think he's at 30 crappie or 29. He's, he's either 29 or 30. I ended up with 20 fish myself. So all in all, it was a hell of a day. Make sure if you guys haven't, subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed catching these fish. So I really appreciate you guys watching and I will catch you in the next one.